Hi guys, welcome back. And, um, well, it seems you guys are the monsters we thought you were. You guys really, really like that, uh, first chapter. Well, I did something a little bit different, but you guys got your rhymes, okay? You better be happy with this. And you know what? You know what? I'm even going to do, I'm even going to do a snap costume change just, just because. There you go. You unlocked me. You have unlocked MC Posted Alone. Last day of J101 and we're on location. Might be good for health, but bad for education. Who said today? Focus on visiting vendors and getting good shots of all of the splendor. So lagging a bit and following wolf tracks. First I came across geeky gifts and knickknacks. I'll admit I was shaking. I've been in my denim when I saw the table. It was made by buff venom, but the look in those eyes gave me a surprise. And I'm telling no lies if you need party supplies that have been venomized. Check out these little guys. They're freaking sweet. Next in line, Sarah Elizabeth. Things so cute, they capture your breath. You got model oxalotl and otters on dry land, as well as tiny owls that sit in your hand. Don't be too surprised that you can get ones customized. I got this fox. Look at that cute little fox baby. <laughs> Now to save you some time and to shorten my rhyme, I'd say tequila and lime, but I got rum. Alright. Mm. The next two vendors, oh so sweet, had gamers having an quest complete. Here comes the footage, I bet you'll think. Instead, what I'll do is I'll put up a link. You don't have to watch it, though you probably should. Though I made them myself, I think the commercials are good. Now the next attraction has some high-flying action. Before I start to lose traction, I'll show you a fraction. Let's check it out. Seeing a flurry of color like a color tsunami. When I wandered to the stand of a group called Kiknami, their artwork was awesome, well above ordinary. And on Sundays on Twitch, they play Pictionary. On Sundays, we, uh, we play Pictionary with our Twitch fans. Pictionary with their Twitch fans on Sunday. All right, everybody. This is what you do on your Sunday afternoon. You go on Twitch and you play some Pictionary. I wandered off. Much more to see, I sense future puns that were coming from me. 
Deanna D'Andrea makes a great sticker sheet, and personally, I found her pun very neat. If you like Pokemon, then you can go nuts with nuts. Oh, I love the pun. That pun I'm sure you'll remember a while. Let me show you a cosplay that might make you smile. Hey, hey, hey. Check out this quintessential male protagonist, everybody. Now this is a costume of comfort. Love it, right? So I ain't playing. Fine, here's some footage of Prince of the Saints. All right, everybody. Ty the Deer here. Visiting the Prince of all Saiyans. Before we go further and you start your slap and check out Endless Gratitude stuff from Bit Happens. Endless Gratitude from Bit Happens. Yes. Check out all this stuff. Look at this. Spider Totoro. Everyone gets one. That's how you know you're getting quality. That's the shirt of a man who's proud of his product. Check this one. Oh yeah. So you got rhymes and I got my puns like Spider-Man says everybody gets one. Give me a moment, my shoulder's starting to stiff. And so let's meet back with Lou and real life Peter Griffin. Where's he going there? Real life Peter Griffin here, hanging out with the smelly ass Wolf man. I mean, could you get worse than this guy? I mean, it's like him and Meg. They're in a league of their own. <laughs> Without any introduction, you know you love him. Real life Peter Griffin. Doesn't get any more real than this. Freaking sweet. <laughs> J1 Con, we love you. Lou making friends, so let's take it from the top. Will Lou make friends with the Bonsai Pop? Welcome back to Unlockable Content. Wolfman here along with the amazing Bonsai Pop. These guys are so cool. They're so much fun. It's our new best friend, Mike, from Bonsai Pop. We've had a great time talking with him this weekend at J1. So how does it feel to be here? Uh, it feels great. I, I don't know who this guy is. Just, you know, he pulled me aside. He was like, hey, you want to be on this video? And I was like, yeah, because I love having my face on camera. That's, really That's, it. It. That's what it is right exactly. there. All he's doing is, is gratifying. We gotta look up to the ones that have the higher numbers than we do. That's a, it's a big numbers game. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, it's, no it's, it's a lot of fun. And he does amazing videos on anime. So you gotta check out Bonsai Pop. Link below. We're gonna finish up at J1Con. To take care. Also, I was kidding. This guy's great. It's beautiful. <laughs> Boom. He did it. A fresh new peep. Greg Hauser came along talking about the sheep. Welcome back to Unlockable Content. I'm no longer invited to his house, but Greg Hauser, an amazing voice actor, was still kind enough to speak to us. So let's see what he says. How are you doing, Greg? I'm here because the court ordered me to be. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I've, I've got to say, you know, I do appreciate the hospitality. Um, it was really good. Uh, the strippers, absolutely wonderful. Uh, I, I do appreciate that. Um, the fact that they were goats wearing leather teddies, that was... Um, yeah, my therapist and I are going to be laughing over that years from now. I'm not exactly sure what kind of kink you're into, but I'm glad to see that you brought the goggles for it. Always a pleasure, Greg. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm about to with rhyme, and which couldn't have come with much better time. And two last shots before I say I'm through. One's in this class, the other's with Lou. Welcome back to Unlockable Content. Wolfman here along with the amazing Ken Pontac. He is part of our child in a big way. I love to have you tree friends. Arthur, believe it or not, it goes all the way back there. So this man is a legend. How does it feel to be here? Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was nice since I got here, but um, you stuck me on the crappiest flight with some kind of cereal bologna farter uh, in a pressurized tube. Um, there was a layover that it felt like it was about three or four weeks. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody roofied me. Uh, and then I got here and um, nobody had taken the horse's head out of my bed from the previous guest. So besides that, it was great. Here I am getting Jason's problems to clean up. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We'll get on right on that. Something about a horse now. <laughs> 
And so we draw a close to J1Con. You can see it behind us, it is down to bare bones, and that's about what we feel like when you say it. I don't know, I still got some energy. Well, we got snacks in the car. You've got cocaine. It's sugar. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Lots of sugar. That's what they call it, yes. But no, we had an amazing time. It's always an amazing time coming to J1 Con. So we hope you enjoy. We hope you support J1 and all their endeavors because they've got amazing stuff. Jamaica's involved. You can't go wrong with that. So be on the lookout for hashtag J1 anything and support unlockable content. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. I did not forget my promise. Here you go before we leave.